Well, lung cancer is uh, actually, you know, it's a very prevalent disease. It's the most common cause of cancer-related death, but there's been tremendous uh, strides uh, made. When I started in this field, it was very frustrating because uh, patients were blamed for their disease. A lot of the patients, 80% of the patients, you know, use tobacco products. And I always thought that was very unfair because, you know, a lot of diseases have lifestyle related issues, you know, whether it's coronary artery disease, whether there's something there. So lung cancer patients being singled out, I thought was unfair. And that's one of the uh, reasons I went into this field. Lung cancer used to be more or less a death sentence and so much exciting stuff has happened, specifically with immune-based therapy. The latest uh, uh, data that's coming out in the olden days, and by olden days, I mean about a year ago, we were able to offer curative surgical resection to maybe 15, 20% of patients. Now with giving immune therapy up front, we can actually shrink tumors and uh, surgically cure tumors substantially higher number of patients. It's only gonna get bigger and bigger. This is very exciting new data. We offer a very robust lung cancer resection program in conjunction with our medical oncologists where a lot of our patients will get chemotherapy up front with immunotherapy up front, shrink the tumor, and then they can go undergo a minimally invasive resection, whether it's robotic or video assisted. Uh, with a very, very short length of stay, measured in days, sometimes even hours. Uh, so this is a very, very exciting development. Obviously, you know, the treatment for the disease uh, will get better and better as smoking cessation efforts uh, um, occur. But again, 20% uh, of patients who get lung cancer are what considered never smokers. And it's still one of the most uh, common cancers out there. So we don't know why. Air pollution, some of the things in the environment. But our lung cancer program is very robust as far as FDA approved treatment, clinical trials, as well as basic research of understanding the fundamentals of how lung cancer develops and progresses. Our goal is to have a 0% mortality for anybody with lung cancer.